This is a cool trick to use the join function inside a query function in order to quickly add multiple or conditions to that query. So here's the data setup I have. Um, I have people, locations, and then just some extra data so we can see more when we output this. So first, let's just set up a basic query, which is like the most powerful function I've ever seen in a spreadsheet. My data, I'm just gonna take all of A through D and select all. Let's just do a few steps here to see this work. Great, that just outputs everything. I'm gonna do select all where B equals Let's get all of Moss Espa market. All right, so now it's just returning the three rows where this column is Moss Espa market. But one of the great things about query is I can match a bunch of, I can set a bunch of different conditions inside the same query. So I can do or B equals Toshi station. Excellent. Now it's giving me the six values, the six rows, where B is either Moss Espa Market or Toshi Station. Excellent. And we can add that as many times as we want. So, or B equals Cryate Cantina. Okay. And now here's the eight values, the eight rows, where it is either Moss Espa Market, Toshi Station, or Cryate Cantina. Continues working, no problem. And for this example, including each of these manually and individually works just fine. But obviously if we're dealing with more data, uh, warehouse locations, retail storefront, salespersons, there's a lot of reasons why just continually manually adding an or condition can be very, very tedious. So this is a trick in order to return exactly this and be able to expand it and contract it and add and remove conditions very, very simply. So first the setup, let's go ahead and use the same ones. I'm going to do Moss Espa Market. No, am I kidding? Let's copy and paste this. <laughs> Toshi Station and Cry Cantina. Now, what I'm trying to do is get this same format out of this range. And to do that, I'm going to use join. So join, yeah, let's do it here. Join, if I put just a comma as a delimiter, and then my values is K1 through K3, I'm just going to get a comma separated list from all of these, okay? Join is super powerful. Uh, we can use that to make the comma delimited list. We can use that to make other, I mean, any delimited list you can make with this, it's pretty excellent. What I want is to use the join to get this output. So to do that, my join delimiter is going to be single quote because we're working with strings or B equals space single quote. That's going to be my delimiter. And it gives me this, Moss as a market, single quote, or B equals single quote, Toshi Station, single quote, or B equals Cry Cantina, end. Which matches everything from there to there, minus those outside single quotes, okay? Then I can go ahead and wrap this into my query. So we're going to do query A through D, select all where, and because the join doesn't output the first and the last single quote, I'm going to do where B equals single quote, end the select sequence with a double quote ampersand so that this join becomes part of the query. And then because I'm missing that ending single quote, ampersand, double quote to open up the query again, single quote to close the or sequence of select, double quote to close it entirely, and parenthesis to end the query. 
and it gives me the exact same output. Because if we take a string of this all the way to there, we get this, which is exactly equal to here, where B equals all the way through this single quote. They're exactly the same. Okay, so we're using this join. Let me get rid of that part so we can see it properly again. We're using this join statement. <laughs> Goodbye, Emerson. We're using this join statement with the appropriate delimiter and the delimiter is or B equals, and obviously that would change depending on your query. You might be querying off of C or X or F. That part doesn't matter. It needs to be the same as whatever, like whatever column identifier you're using, keep using that one. So single quote or column header, column letter equals single quote, close that, that's your delimiter, and then the range of values. Now let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more. Instead of K1 through K3, we can just do K through K. And it's still just going to output all of those. Okay, since I'm getting all of A through D, it is going to match in all of these blanks, which is why if I put something here, it fails. But normally a query is gonna be the last thing, especially if you're using a potentially expanding location. So like this still works, and I'm going to say, or three moons. And three moons is immediately and automatically added into this query. Okay, now I'm gonna say, you know, I don't actually need Toshi Station anymore. I delete Toshi Station, and it is immediately removed from this query area. So the two reasons to use this setup is one, you just have a lot of values, and it's going to get challenging and possibly have human error when you're putting them all in. That by itself can oftentimes be a big enough reason to use it, and it is a time saver once you have it down. Secondly, it allows the query parameter location to expand and contract much more easily because instead of coming here and saying, oh, you know, we don't actually need Toshi Station anymore, I'm going to delete all of these manually. Hope I deleted the right place because if I do, uh, if I delete through here and think I have it right, it fails. Right, it, it, it can be easy to miss those, especially if you have a really long query. Adding it again can also be challenging, right? So adding and removing things, expanding and contracting, the list of conditions is much simpler in this manner. And it reduces the potential for human error greatly. So once again, make sure that the join delimiter is what that part's called, the delimiter for the join. Make sure that the join delimiter matches the entire or column identifier equals single quotes on both sides and it'll work great for you.